everyone. Today we're going to learn how a DC motor and a generator works. Please have an adult next to you while you do this experiment for your safety. So we have a DC motor and a generator and we are going to learn the parts of the DC motor and the generator and learn how they work. So first we're going to open the DC motor and these two stuff are the brushes which gave current to the armature and the armature is the middle part of here and it gets the electricity and I'm going to get the armature out. And these two curved things are permanent magnets. And they each have a north and a south pole. And the armature is a temporary magnet. When current passes through it, and how it's a temporary magnet is these copper coils are wrapped around these pieces of iron and when a current is passing through the copper wires, it makes a magnetic field and a temporary north and south pole. And when the north of the armature and the north of one of these curved ma permanent magnets are close to each other, they repel. And if the south pole of this armature and the north pole of one of these curved permanent magnets are far apart, then they attract each other. And that is how the armature spins and now I'm going to put the armature back into the motor and then I'm going to put the top putting the top the motor and now we're going to learn about the generator here I have a generator and we're going to open it. So, open it. Okay. So, over here, we have a circular object and this circular object is a permanent magnet. And this permanent magnet has a north and south pole and it has its own magnetic field. Over here, we have some number of coils and we're going to count how many coils there are. So there are nine coils over here. And when I spin the magnet, the magnetic field also spins. And if there are coils, the induction produces current in the coil and the current goes through the wires and lights up the LED light. In the motor, there's only three coils and in the generator, there's nine coils because if there's more coils, that means it produces lots of current and it, and it produces lots of electricity. And it also depends on how fast I spin the magnet. If I spin it fast, the current, there's lots of current. And when I spin it slow, there's only a little bit current. Now I'm going to fix the, it back into generator. And I'm going to spin it. So I'm going to spin it slowly. And you can see that it doesn't light up. So if I spin it slowly, there's only a little bit of current. Now I'm going to increase the speed a little. So you can see it lights up. I'm going to spin it 
even more faster. Whoa, it's it it glows up brighter than the the other tries. So it glows up brighter because when you spin it fast, there's more current and it glows the LED light glows more bright. Whoa. I never seen that before. You can see that it's glowing so bright. Now we built a circuit and learned how a generator generates electricity and also learned how a motor works. I hope you learned how a DC motor works and how a generator generates electricity. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, Kids Girl, for more fun science experiments. See you next time. Bye. Now we're going to make the fan fly. In one, two, and three. Go. It's going to fly. It's going to fly. Let's go now.